Well, you live with the Zikro catches until the age of six, and then you decided to shoot the documentary many years later. Um, can you tell me about the emotional gap, the memory gap from that early stage of your life until the making of the documentary? I assume a lot of things are new to you. Yes, yes, and uh, it's crazy because you, we started from a memory. And of course, it's a memory, and everything that I say in, in, the, in the voiceovers, in the film, they are really true. They are really um, what my memory was at the time, you know. So you have that innocence of a child looking at those amazing creatures doing such amazing things. And at the same time, the, the, the view of a child with their innocence can bring that story to another point uh, of view. And I think that brings also, in the film, that brings also, it's delicate, that brings uh, the viewer uh, together with the film. I think that gives an emotional side of the story. But then again, okay, then I had all those memories uh, of a little one, of a child, and then them with a lot of makeup, you know, those big eyes, and they around me and taking care of me on backstage. But I... I I had the opportunity to work with a few of them afterwards until I was 12 or 13 with Pauletti, with Gaia, with Tovar. And then after that, of course, there's a gap of 10, 20 years in that they, you know, some of them got murdered, all, 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 another few of them died of AIDS, and, um, and, and then the life goes in a different uh, path. And when we started interviewing people, there was a, a huge revelation for me because it was when I was sitting down with those uh, interviewees and listening to them talk talk for almost two hours was just like rediscovering part of your life because then I was learning so much about them as characters as a grown up as a woman I was discovering so much about them and I found out they were really even much more than I thought. They were much more amazing, they were so much more incredible than I could ever think because as a child I had that a warm memory of them, you know. But as a woman I could understand how important they were, they were in our history, uh, opening doors in Brazil, you know, the incredible work that they did, how great they were as artists and talented. And also learning, you know, what happened in their lives. I knew, of course, that Wagner was killed. I knew Ochinha was murdered. But I didn't know exactly the details. I didn't know how. So it was a very emotional uh, path, you know, during those two years of, you know, listening first to all those stories and then editing them. That was very emotional because we got so attached to those people, me and Rafael editing. They became our family again, in my case, again. You know, it was just like I was... Maybe it's that feeling when you find maybe a, a, a album of pictures of your grandmother or something that you're like, oh my God, you know, look, so young and doing that and doing that. It's kind of put, put everything, the puzzle, together in your memory. And um, so that was really important for me and emotional for me and tough at the same time. I used to get emotional during the uh, editing uh, quite a few times because you get so close to, to those 13 guys, you know, editing them, looking at pictures, listening to stories, stories that we even had to cut at the end uh, of the final cut of the film, but so many little things and learning about their personality and how they felt and, and how sensitive they were. So now that we are uh, presenting the film in so many festivals and we finish editing and then now the film is, is, is leaving there, you know, it's life. Now when you finish editing and you present at so many festivals, there is a moment in time now, we have almost a year of period since the film was shown for the first time, that now we have to let the film go. And it's almost like saying goodbye again. You know, it's so sad. Every time we see the film, we're like, oh, we're going to miss them so much because we used to edit every day. We used to look at them talking, you know, in 1970s something or talking in the 80s and look at them, look at their pictures, uh, they're, they're performing and then we have to say goodbye, you know, so it's, it's tough too.